The second award of the afternoon is the Women Business Enterprise of the Year. This award is presented to a woman-owned business certified by the state of North Carolina's historically underutilized business office that has demonstrated sound business strategies while driving economic development in the Charlotte-Mecklenburg region and has also shown a commitment to giving back to the community she serves. And the winner of the Women Business Enterprise Award goes to Sunshine Media Network. Thank you, thank you so much. This is a team effort for sure. This is a lot of people believing in someone a lot of people didn't believe in. A team of people a lot of people don't believe in. So this is awesome. Thank you. I started Sunshine Media Network a decade ago now, and my mission has always been to amplify the voices and expertise of women and minority entrepreneurs and experts. I'm a social entrepreneur, which means my corporate clients help fund the philanthropy I'm able to do for small businesses and experts who are trying to get their story out to a broader community. In the past decade, I have been so privileged to work with the great Maya Angelou. I was her videographer team for the last year of her life, which was such a full circle moment for me. Um, I read her books growing up. I followed her journey and her words. She inspired me so much. So to be in a professional situation with her and trusted with something so important was definitely monumental personally. Um, I've worked with the New York Giants. I've worked with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I've been a videographer for many presidential candidates in the 2016 campaign. All the national news networks have reached out to me in some form or fashion over the past decade. But truly, the, the jobs that Sunshine Media Network lives for are the ones that are telling untold stories and the ones that are building people up who just need that extra push. Um, we truly try to shine a light on um, in information and people and experts and experiences and, and use that light to build a better community and a more loving community. Anyone who knows me knows every day is a learning experience. I push myself consistently. In my business, I have always leveled up with every single job. There's always something to learn, whether the industry is evolving and changing, or I take on a client in an industry I've never been exposed to before. I hear a story that I've never been exposed to before. My proudest moment would, would just be the journey. There, there isn't any one that outshines another in my perspective. I'm fortunate people trust me with something so important to them, and um, I just value every opportunity I have to meet someone new, learn something about them, and then tell other people about that experience or that story. Because of my background and being a teen mom, there weren't a lot of expectations set for me. And in a way, that's easy. No one expected me to be anything or do anything. So every day <laughs> and um, every client that trusts me is, is a win. And I get emotional because I do this work to help other people see that someone believes in them, that they can be something, that they have something to contribute, no matter what circumstances they're in, what they look like, what field they choose. A woman can be a videographer. A woman can do things. Um, people who come from public housing, people who come from rough backgrounds, um, people who a community say, you're not gonna be anything have options and have something to contribute. And I just love the opportunity to really nurture people and, and help them in any way I can. And so every chance I'm given is a win that I'm proud of. And I hope to extend my success to other people so then they can find their own success. I've lived across the country. I moved a lot growing up and I just landed in the region and I got my first TV news job in Charlotte. I was very fortunate to break through my first market in Charlotte and I just stayed. I love Charlotte. There's so much opportunity here. I've grown up with Charlotte as Charlotte's grown up 
and I just love the energy that the Queen City has. We have such a diverse range of businesses, of people, of lifestyles. I think it's just a great mix of so many things that anyone would look for when they start their business, when they have their families, and when they want to build their own lives. So. I, I mean, Charlotte is just, I couldn't imagine being in another city, honestly. To find out that a pro bono client nominated us without us knowing was, we were, <laughs> we were screaming in the office um, because it says a lot about how we made them feel. And we work really hard to make people feel good. We want them to leave the video experience. We want them to leave the, the high stress, high pressure job with us, being on camera and feeling good about it, feeling good about themselves. So I would encourage anyone in the community to nominate a woman or minority owned small business for the Crowns of Enterprise because it is like the next thing that pushes them to keep going. It's not easy to be a business owner. It's not easy to be a minority woman business owner. And you know, that little nudge of you're doing a good job can really get them through the next year of, of entrepreneurship. Congratulations to our 2022 Woman Business Enterprise of the Year, Sunshine Media Network.